She was, she was huge. She was the singular driving force that moved things forward, generated uh, momentum, and got things going back in the uh, early back into the 70s. Janine McCaney came to Texas Tech from Arkansas in 1966 as a physical education professor and volunteer coach. But over the next few decades would become the heart of a program. Texas Tech turned to McCaney to help establish the women's athletic department in 1975. A tough task, but McCaney was up to the challenge. Starting from a budget of around $500 in an old Navy reserve building as a facility um, with a situation where players bought their own uniforms, they paid for their own gas. She didn't want to see that happen 10 years later, 15 years. She didn't want this generation of athlete to go through that. They don't because of people like Janine McCaney. McCaney helped push Tech's budget over $1 million during her time. She also helped merge the men's and women's programs and was instrumental in helping push Lady Raider basketball to the forefront. She took, you might say, chances on hiring coaches she believed in but gave them resources. She hired Marcia Sharp, a, a young unproven coach, when she took the reins, but she believed in it. The victory is a two-point margin for the Lady Raiders of Texas Tech. It's just a great thing for our program. You know, it's just such a giant leap for us. And I think, you know, we've just worked so hard. Marsha's worked so hard uh, to get here. And, you know, she just says it all. It was unbelievable, uh, the, the love that existed. She loved each and every one of those kids and all those coaches. And it, and it showed in the fruits of the labors. But make no mistake, so much that existed was the hard work and the vision that she stayed with. There were a lot of battles that had to be fought along the way, not easy ones, uh, but she was never one to uh, stare down a battle. She, she embraced them, but she always went in like a good general, very prepared. And while she was helping build Texas Tech's athletic department, she was also facing a battle of her own. McKinney passed away in 1994 after a decade-long fight with cancer. Such a fighter and died at much too young an age uh, at the age of 50, but certainly packed everything that she could in to that number of years. She was um, and always will be the foundation of um, initially women's athletics, but certainly a fighter for all student athletes.